Hey guys, it's me, Jess, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another short tutorial for you guys. I'm excited to share my inventory system. So I do want to thank Stacy for sending this suggestion in on YouTube. And then on TikTok, a lot of people have asked me for a brief overview of my inventory system. So here you go. All right, I'm going to keep it as basic as possible. Everything that I mention will be linked down below. So we'll start off with these huge old storage shelves. I don't know that I'll be able to find this exact one, but I will link a similar one down below. I may give you a couple of choices because, you know, we try to keep it cheap around here. So I'll try to find you guys the best deal. Also, we have storage bins and these you can just find at Walmart. I will definitely link those down below. Walmart is probably the cheapest place to get them. And honestly, I just use post-it notes to put the numbers on each bin. So you can use whatever you want. You could probably make it a little prettier than mine. So yeah, if you have a label printer, then go ahead and create your own look. And then I use color coding labels as well to stick a number on each item that I have stored in the bins. Also, I do pre-package all my items. I will link my plastic bags that I use. I found them pretty cheap on eBay. I'll just go ahead and link those down below, but I'm pretty sure you can find them on Amazon or anywhere else. You may have your own that you like to use. So whatever works for you, then keep doing that. All right, so here goes. When I get an item, I like to measure it. I like to photograph it. And then I like to list it. So when I'm done listing it, I will fold it super nice, put it in a plastic bag, and then inventory it. So if you're just starting a bin system, you will start with obviously A, and then label everything A1, A2, A3, and so forth. Until the bin is full, and then you can move on to B. So we'll just use this as an example. Say we are starting, and I had just created a bin A. So this will be A1. So then I will go ahead and input it on eBay and Poshmark. So on eBay, there is a SKU number right under the title. And that is where I put the bin number. And then I also include some extras. The extras that I include are the price I paid for the item. And I have special codes on where I got it that I input into my spreadsheet. But that's another story. If you guys want me to go into that, I certainly can in another video. So again, on eBay, under the SKU number, that is something that will not appear on your listing to potential buyers because we wouldn't want them to know any of that information anyway. So it will appear when you go to print a shipping label, it will be right under the title of the item. So therefore you can just grab it and ship it off. Also on Poshmark, I will post a picture right here. They have at the bottom of the listing additional information that you can click and then it brings up three extra fields. These three fields will not be seen by potential buyers either, which is great. So there is the SKU number, there is the amount paid, and then additional information. So again, you'll just put the letter and the number of the bin that the item is in. And then when you sell the item, you will see it on your sales page. And then you can go grab the item and ship it off. So that's my inventory system. As a bonus though, I wanna give you guys a little extra information. All right, so it's an example. So let's just say I sold the ramen hoodie. The ramen hoodie is H35. Oh, look here, we have H35. So what I love about my inventory system is these stickers come right off. And as I'm getting the item prepared for shipping, I can go ahead and stick it right on the bin. I'll go ahead and ship my item off to the customer and they will be excited. And then when I go to list my next item, I will just grab this sticker and use it on my next item the same way I just taught you. And this helps when you get to bin Z and you ran out of space. All right, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this short inventory tutorial. Hopefully it helps you guys whether you're just starting out or whether you just feel really unorganized and wanna start an inventory system. Again, everything you need is a link down below. If you guys do enjoy videos such as this, make sure you're subscribed to my channel down below. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button so I know I'm doing something right. If you have any additional questions, please comment down below. Or if you have any suggestions for future tutorial videos that you would like to see, go ahead and link those down below as well. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.